In this video, we're going to talk about Pixel Squid. Now, this is a website that lets you download 3D models, but not in a form of an actual 3D model, but as a PNG or a PSD file. So you can use it, for example, in Photoshop or in similar application like GIMP. And I will show you how to do this. Now, this is the website here. It's called Pixel Squid. Again, you can search it in Google and you can find it really easy. And then you have here, well, two basic areas. You have categories. For example, let's go into architecture. And for example, I can select uh, the Colosseum or the, Par the Parthenon or something particular. If I'm, if I'm looking for something, I can type here what I'm looking for. So if I search for a fell and I can type the search, you can see here I have the, H, uh, the Eiffel Tower. And let me show you how it works. So you, you have to wait just a little bit. It's going to load some images. And when it's finished, you can click and drag this with the left mouse of your button, with the, sorry, left mouse, left button of your mouse. And you can choose the correct angle, the one that you want. And when you found it, you can just click here to download. And this is going to download the image. And yeah, sometimes they, some images, uh, they have restrictions. So let's say I understand. And there you go. So it's, uh, it has been downloaded right here. And also, let's, this is another one here. And I found that in the PNG collection. So you can also go here. And you can see here you have different collections showing you different, uh, let's say, topics. So horror movies or um, abstract interiors, uh, classic world, and so on. So you, you choose one. Let's say we're going to go with the summer because it's summer. So let's pick this one here and scroll down. And you have so many objects here you can pick from. Now, again, you are not downloading the um, 3D model here. You can use the 3D model to generate an image, and then you can use that image for a photo montage in Photoshop. For example, if you're doing a project of architecture or infographics, something like that. Now, let's go with this one here. Now, you can see that. Here in the download options, you have the watermark PNG, and I will show you what that means. And that's the only free option here. So if I click download, again, I'm downloading this. There you go. And But this will be watermarked. If you don't want the watermark on, you can select this option, but you're going to pay for this. It's going to cost you this amount of money. And well, depends what you need to do with this. If you are doing something, for example, a uh, particular architecture project, you have the, the funds, you can maybe buy it or buy it. if you want, you can also use this one. And I will show you how, to, how you can use it, how you, you can still use it. And also, you have this other option here. But for this video, we're going to check the free option and what we can do with these models. So if I open up this one here, let's open it up like that. OK, now you can see it doesn't have the background. You can see in the Windows visualization here the by double clicking. You will also find these images when you download them in the download folder of your uh, computer. And this is the watermark that we were talking about. Now, this is really annoying because it's really difficult to get rid of this, even if you're using Photoshop with, um, let's say, the healing brush. You can use the healing brush to take this away, or you can use the patch tool to take this away. If, if you don't know what those are, well, we, we could make more videos about Photoshop, but we need your support. So please support us, write your comments, your questions, suggestions. And if we get enough support, we can make more videos, more professional videos. And we're definitely going to make more videos on Photoshop in the future. So please go to the channel here it's called jbd2 subscribe or join to support us so we that we can make more videos so all you need to do here is choose the correct angle that you want let's say i want this one here download the image okay and then get rid of that watermark which is really difficult to do 
It's I think that the time that you're gonna spend uh, taking care of that watermark is better to spend this uh, twelve dollars here. But let me show you how you can do another way. You can you have another option, which also could be useful. So I'm gonna open this one here in GIMP, which is a free application that you can download and install. And this is not gonna be a video course in GIMP, but again, if you support us, we can do that. We already did a video course in GIMP, but in Italian. We are hoping to make one in English soon, but you will find also many tutorials online already. But if you want that we can want us to make it, please support us, write your comments and give us your support. Okay, so once you download and install GIMP, you can then manipulate the images here. Now this is GIMP right here. And I'm gonna make it fit into the window. There you go. And to bring in the, the picture that I've just downloaded, I will simply take it from the browser here, from here, click and drag it into GIMP and then release it. And you can do that also using the folder on your Windows. Now this looks too big, so I'm gonna make it smaller. And again, this is in Italian right now, but since I'm not gonna do, going to do a video course in GIMP yet, I will just show you a couple of really easy things that you can do. Okay, now I can change the zoom a little bit here to make it fit better. Okay, maybe it's too much. You can also control and scroll wheel to make the zoom. And then you can also use the scroll wheel. You press the scroll wheel to pan a little bit. Okay, let's say that this is something that we can use. Now you can see it doesn't have the background. So if I bring in another layer, that's gonna go there on the back. Now this is why it's pretty useful to use these images. So I can pick another image from the web. Let's say that I want something, just wait. I'm gonna get something from Pexels, this website here. Wanna see some pictures. Well, I just need a random picture, so I can take this one here again. In this case, download is free. So thanks for this guy. And you can also donate to him if you are using some of his stuff. So if I click here and drag this again, uh, well, it's asking me to do something with the, okay. Now I have the image. I, I just select to maintain the color and now I can bring this on the background. So I can place any background for this. Now this could be an infographic again, or it could be like a real photo montage, but in that case, you, you need to get rid of this watermark. But if you're doing, for example, some architectural project, or if you're doing infographic, sometimes they don't use real images, but they use like silhouettes. So if, if I show you here, uh, let's search for silhouette. And now silhouette is something like that that you can also find and download and already made for you. But in this case, I will show you how to convert that image into a silhouette. And this is usually used in architecture. Uh, let's see if I find something, some examples. I don't, I don't find it. Uh, let's see, architecture project. And yeah, something like that. Sometimes in architectural visualization, they place these silhouettes just to show that something like this, okay? To show how the architecture, it's um, how the people will be inserted into the architecture. So you, you can do photo montage, you can use real people, uh, photo montage, you can use silhouettes, something like that. That's getting, okay? So. You can see there are many styles here. They sometimes use black and white. Sometimes they use simple silhouettes. This looks more like an infographic and also this one. So you can, you know, use this as for many reasons.
Now, how you do this in uh, Photoshop or GIMP, there are many ways. In Photoshop, it's actually simpler. You just uh, go to the layer and replace the layer with, uh, you override everything with a simple black color. Right here, we can go to image. This is one way we can do it. So, sorry, not image, uh, color or colors, I just trying to translate here. And basically when you go here, select the correct layer, go to color, and well, let's say we can do some black and white, like that. So we can start to change, there you go. But it's a bit slow, don't know why. I think my computer is doing too many things here. But you can see the, the results there. Well, the watermark is still there. Now, the only way we can get rid of that is just by overriding everything with a simple color. So I can go, for example, here to colorize or, well, look at the icon. All right. So this is a, a um, like a bluish color. Let's make it total black. And there you go. So it's pretty simple. I've just created. Uh, silhouette right there. And I can use this in many ways. I can, again, use it in architecture and so on. Now, with the magic wand tool, it's also easy to select what's inside here. And maybe I can use this as a mask and I can place an image inside and I can do something more creative. But this is going to be a long, long way to do that. So you can also invert here. You can deselect the selection and right click and deselect. Okay, you get the point. So this is just to show you that you can still use what you find in Pixel Squid to make uh, things, really interesting things with these shapes that you can generate and with a free watermarked PNG. So that's basically it for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. Again, um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, this is live on Twitch, but it's also going to be in the YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this video. And for the guys who are watching this live, they can stay a little bit more and they, we, they can ask questions live and uh, chat a little bit. But for all you guys that are going to see this in YouTube, you can leave comments, questions, suggestions, and so on. So show us some support. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.